Over the last few years, many of the local companies in the area here have invested heavily in their video equipment. In fact, I've used more ATEM Constellations and 1ME advanced panels in the last few months than I thought I'd ever use. All this means that whenever I go on a freelance job with them, in theory, I should bring basically nothing but a laptop. But no, instead, I bring all this. Okay, let's dig in. And before we pull things out of the case, I just wanted to point out that this is a Pelican 1535 Air case with the Trek Pack inserts. You get this little tool with it and you design the layout for yourself. It is quite fun, but you kind of have to get it right. So let's say the switcher dies. It doesn't happen often, but sometimes the switcher may die or you want to send a submix to a TV or a projector. I do own all three of the original A10 Mini models, but I figured it makes sense to bring the A10 Mini Pro ISO, which gives me full flexibility to record and switch the program. It also fits really nicely into the case here. The backup stream. When I'm freelancing, it usually involves some sort of live stream. And if that live stream was to die, there's usually a few minutes of terror while you scramble to fix a new one. That's why I find it useful to bring this Blackmagic WebPresenter HD with me. And even if I don't end up using it, the output makes for a really nice screen filler for confidence about audio and video that's going to the stream. It's always best to set that up fully with the stream key and have it running from the start so you have a smooth failover where possible. We're all out of cables. Well, can you ever have enough cables with you? Probably not, but that's why I bring these extra SDI USB cables and the HDMI ones, which are the ones that usually disappear first. Some camera matching. I'm often running multiple cameras and quite often PTZs as well, so I do bring a few things with me to match those cameras to each other. My two trusty tools for that are this Datacolor Spider Checker 24 and a Ninja 5 for the scopes. These two items have gone a long way in helping me get the cameras just right or close enough at least. Now this is definitely a topic I'd like to explore more in the future and get some more tools for, so more on that in future videos. I need to convert this to that to this. HDMI to SDI to HDMI to SDI, you never know, that's why I bring these converters. But I will point out there's no VGA converters in this case, I'm just done with those, I don't want to bring any of those anymore. And speaking of converters, I just can't get this signal to work. Now what sort of emergency case would it be without the glorious Decimator MDHX? This is the exact one that I bought years ago when I started here to record, and it's still working really well today. And if you don't have one of these, I thoroughly recommend it. Can we just show a countdown? At some point during a live stream, you will want some sort of graphics, whether it's a countdown timer at the start, some lower thirds during the production, or a message at the end. And of course for that, I do fire up H2R graphics, and I've been using this Ultra Studio HD Mini for a super clean key fill graphics. And you can stick around here on the channel for lots more on H2R graphics and key fill solutions as well. I just need one more set of buttons. Just about everyone has companions somewhere in their setup these days. And I do remember several years ago explaining to lots of people what companion was, and now it's just a tool that we all know and use. So I bring this extra 15 button stream deck for use with companion, and I also have this X keys 24 button controller that pairs really nicely with vMix. It's a little more fiddly to set up, but I feel it works really nicely, and I like the buttons. And here's a few things that I didn't mention so far. A network switch, because it's always nice to have a few more ports. This Raspberry Pi for some graphics or a simple display source. Power cables for just about everything. And some nice colorful tape so I can mark and tape things up. But what did I miss? Maybe you have some things in mind that I definitely should have in this case. Let me know in the comments below. And otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.